Hey, what's up? It's your pal Steve, and today's topic is, hey, what's it like to live in the same town your entire life? Oh, I got all blurry there for a second, and I'm back. Uh, well, I've lived in a small town my entire life uh, here on Long Island. I'm not going to say which one. Oceanside. And recently, uh, my fiance, uh, who is from Jersey, don't make her a bad person, asked me what's it like to live in, like, in the same town your entire life. And, uh, well, I gotta tell you, it's interesting because, you know, my entire life, I've known people from kindergarten all the way up until now. Can I remember one time, actually, I had this crush on this really cute girl back in fourth grade. Uh, I recently saw her at a, uh, you know, high school reunion, and, uh, wow! Dodged the bullet there! <laughs> but you see, the one thing that really stunk about her was that she turned into this woman who just insulted a whole bunch of people and was rude, crude, and obnoxious and was not the sweet girl that I remember. Yeah, I, I'm sure she's a nice person, but now she talks like this and for some reason wants to say hi and say it's very good to see me. Yikes. But living in a small town, you get to see how it progresses um, and you get to see how everybody in that world has gone from young child to adult. I recently just ran into an old pal of mine um, over at uh, Farmer Joel's over here in Oceanside, and he's a cool guy, and it was good to know that I knew him when. So I guess to wrap it all up, I gotta say, living in the same small town, especially a Long Island town, your entire life is pretty damn cool, especially if you're a writer, because you get to see the beginning, middle, and denouement. That's the falling action of all of these personal stories you had growing up, so pretty damn cool to live in a small town. I'm Steve Strange, I'll talk to you guys.